Hi everyone, welcome to the Microsoft Technical Takeoff session, How Secure is Universal Print? My name is Rochelle Chung and I'm a product manager on the Universal Print team. Today we'll be going over an overview of Universal Print, how is cloud printing secure, what are some features that keep Universal Print secure, how does Universal Print help with a zero trust setup, and how much does all this security cost? David Weston, a VP at Microsoft, has mentioned that attackers haven't wasted any time capitalizing on the rapid move to hybrid work. Every day, cyber criminals and nation states alike have improved their targeting, speed, and accuracy as the world adapted to working outside the office. These changes have put cybersecurity issues and risks at the top of the list when it comes to worries or concerns for business decision makers in the year ahead. Here you can see some market trends, but some things I wanted to highlight was that 87% of organizations have experienced at least one firmware attack in the past two years, and 25% of organizations have identified unauthorized access to sensitive data as a top security threat. Microsoft is making investments in hardware, software, applications, and services to deliver on the promise of providing a more intelligent, secure, and less costly work environment as the setting is changing from all in the office to a hybrid model for many. So how does cloud printing come into play and how is cloud printing secure? Here you can see an overview of Universal Print. Universal Print provides secure serverless print from anywhere on any device. For organizations, there is no need for on-premises print servers. You can deploy a secure zero trust environment. There is a centralized enter ID, also known as Azure AD in the past, which provides printer registration management and reporting. Universal Print integrates with Microsoft Intune to configure printers on user devices, and there is no need to install or update drivers. I'll also talk about this a little more later, but we have secure release with PIN or a QR code. For end users or employees, printing is enabled anywhere and from any device, so it doesn't matter what the OS is, form factor, service, location. There's no need for a VPN. You can print from OneDrive for the web on any mobile device. The print experience is the same as what you had experienced before, so there's a no learning curve experience, but there's also advanced finishing options and workflows extendable with the print support app. So many may have heard that we have announced the end of servicing plan for third-party printer drivers on Windows. So Microsoft is planning on deprecating these legacy print drivers because some legacy print drivers can be unsafe. Now we are planning to use IPP in both enterprise and consumers, and Universal Print helps to remove these print drivers for increased security. So let's talk a bit about data storage. Universal Print stores all customer data in the geography the customer's tenant was created in. Customer data is not stored or moved outside the tenant's geography, and below you can see a list of all the different geographies that Universal Print is a part of. In terms of encryption, Universal Print stores customer data by using the same secure storage platform that your data in Exchange, Office, and Teams is stored on. Encryption is on by default, and there are no controls to turn it on or off. Your data is encrypted in transit over the network and at rest in non-volatile storage, giving you end-to-end -end encryption. Because all customer data is stored in Universal Print and is encrypted at rest and in transit, you don't have to take any action to protect your data. Encryption is on by default, and there are no controls to turn it on or off. Universal Print uses AES-256 encryption on all regions where the account is running. Data stored in Universal Print is automatically and seamlessly encrypted with keys managed by Microsoft. They're called Service Managed Keys. We also support encryption using your own key, which are called customer managed keys. In terms of security and compliance, Universal Print is FedRAMP certified for government. So you can check out the link here, Office 365 FedRAMP for more information about Universal Print's FedRAMP certification. We also have various security certifications like High Trust, ISO 27017, ISO 27001 slash two, and ISO 27018. Universal Print also complies with all laws and is GDPR compliant. We have data centers in many different regions and process data in the tenant region, as well as store the data in the customer's preferred region. So what are some features that keep Universal Print secure? All print jobs are submitted using the user's Entra ID token. 
So it's single sign-on on Windows and is claimed by the printer using Entra ID device authentication. So there's the authentication of each user during each call. The traditional print server approach is that if a printer was local, it was fine, but the issue is that data is unencrypted. Universal Print encrypts everything. Here you can see a new feature that Universal Print recently released called Secure Release. On the right-hand side, you can see the admin experience. So when you go into the Universal Print Azure portal, you can see an option to enable QR code release. And by doing this, you can see a QR code is created. And what you can do as an admin is you can print out this QR code and place it on a desired printer. And on the left-hand side, you can see the user experience. When the user goes to the printer, they can take out their phone and scan that QR code, and they will be brought to a page that shows them the exact printer they will be printing to. They can select the job they want to send to that specific printer that they're standing in front of, and they can release that print job. Many of you may be curious how Universal Print helps with a zero trust setup. So print is often referred to as a last mile technology and is often the blocking point for customers adopting a full cloud setup. Not only does universal print unblock customers from fully adopting the cloud, but it enables network isolation of printers, including the universal print connector software from the rest of the organization's resources. Communication between client and the printer flows through the universal print cloud service. As shown in the diagram above, Universal Print supports and enables zero trust networking as follows. So each connection to Universal Print requires authentication that has been validated by Azure Active Directory, now what we call Entra ID. And a hacker would have to have the knowledge of the right credentials to successfully connect to the Universal Print service. Every connection established by the client, the printer, or another cloud service to the Universal Print cloud service uses TLS 1.2 protection. This protects network snooping of traffic to gain access to sensitive data. Each acting client app must register with Azure Active Directory, or what is now known as Entra ID, and specify the set of permission scopes it requires. Microsoft's own acting client apps, for example, the Universal Print Connector, are registered with the Entra ID service, and customers consent to the required permission scopes as part of onboarding the app. Each authentication with Entra ID from an acting client app cannot extend the permission scope as defined by the acting client app. This prevents the app from requesting additional permissions when the app is breached. As you can see below, there is a link to aka.ms slash up zero trust for more information about universal print and zero trust, but I will talk a bit more about that in the next slide. So printers that do not have firmware with direct support for universal print can be supported using the Universal Print Connector software to communicate with Universal Print. Like Universal Print Ready Printers, these printers are assigned an identity by Entra ID. The connection between the Universal Print Connector and Universal Print Cloud Service is protected by TLS 1.2 and uses the printer assigned identity for authentication. The permission scope is based on the Universal Print Connector's app registration. In terms of zero trust networking, the key steps in the deployment are as follows. One, install the Universal Print Connector software on a host machine connected to the same network used by the physical printers. This network should be different from the network used by client devices. Number two, update proxy server settings as appropriate to ensure the connector software can connect to the Universal Print Cloud service over HTTPS with TLS 1.2. Three, configure a SSL certificate on the physical printer and configure the connection between the host PC and the printer to be over SSL. Four, prevent user access to the host PC running the universal print connector. Now, if you have universal print ready printers, these offer an easy solution when deploying a zero trust network. Universal print ready printers include new printer models and existing printer models running updated firmware. Each printer is assigned an identity by Entra ID when it is registered with Universal Print. The printer uses this assigned identity to authenticate to establish a TLS 1.2 connection to Universal Print. Printer manufacturers register their acting client app with Entra ID with a required set of permission scopes and ensures that even if a physical printer is breached, the connections to Universal Print cannot elevate access rights beyond what was in the app registration. So you can visit aka.ms slash UP integrations to find a full list of universal print ready printers. Some of these printers have upgradable software and can be upgraded to support universal print natively. 
So this all sounds great, but is there a cost to all the security? Let's talk a bit about universal print licensing and requirements. Universal print is included in a per user subscription with Windows Enterprise 10 and 11. As you can see on the left hand side, Universal Print is available in Microsoft 365 E licenses, F licenses, and A licenses, as well as Windows 10 and 11 Enterprise E3 E5, Microsoft 365 Business Premium, and is available in both education and government licenses as well. If you do not have these licenses, you can purchase Universal Print as a standalone. In terms of system requirements, you should have Microsoft Entry ID, you can use Windows 10 1903 onwards or Windows 11, and Windows on ARM. The way Universal Print works in terms of licensing is that all licenses come with a set of print jobs. So for example, in Microsoft 365 E3 and E5, as well as Microsoft 365 Business Premium, those include 100 print jobs per license. For Windows 10 and 11, Enterprise E3 and E5, as well as Microsoft 365 Enterprise F3, these include five print jobs per license. So how does this work? If we look on the right hand side, we can see an example of the different licenses and how they're pulled together. So if a tenant has 3000 Microsoft 365 E3 user licenses, each of those come with 100 print jobs per license each. If this tenant also has 4000 Microsoft 365 F3 user licenses, those will come with five print jobs per licenses each. So that comes together to a total of 320,000 pooled print jobs per month. That means that one user can use all 320,000 print jobs and another user can use zero print jobs as long as they do not exceed the 320,000 pooled print jobs per month. Additional print job packs are available in packs of 500 or 10,000 and we encourage folks to purchase those if they think that they will go over the amount of pooled print jobs they have per month. More information can be found at aka.ms slash UP license if you'd like to learn more about universal prints licensing and requirements. So if you would like to provide more thoughts on security and universal print, please fill in the survey in the chat. Thank you everyone for joining the How Secures Universal Print Microsoft Technical Takeoff session. We hope you learned a lot and we'll see you next time. Bye.